Hello again. It's Wednesday, April 26, 2023. This is Journal TV, and I'm Jerry Clark. It's time for the news. The various senior candidates for the Mr. and Miss title for the final class at Coming in High School stood alongside each other on Monday afternoon. Which pair is selected will be determined by interviews and will be announced on May 17th. Since the foundational work is now finished, there will be some new concrete poured behind the Discovery Center in Covington, along with some landscaping to dress up the rear entrance, as a result of work done by D.D. Kern employees. National Crime Victims Week will be celebrated at an event held Thursday, beginning at 11 a.m. in front of the Allegheny County Courthouse. Guest speakers, even some crime victims are expected to speak. Ashley Morris, Assistant Director of the local Victim Witness Assistance Program, spoke recently with the Journal about it all. The video is now available on AlleghenyJournal.com. And now a word from our sponsor. Coming to the Glen Haven Amphitheater on Friday, May 5th, a nationally known James Taylor tribute artist in the form of Bill Greasy. Tickets are now available online for this very special Allegheny Highlands Arts Council event. The Allegheny County Covington Department of Social Services, Brandy McCormick and Emily Tranny took time out to speak with the journal about an event noting child abuse to be held this Saturday at Rosedale Park in Covington. The family-friendly event will include pony rides, food, face painting, and more with over 20 partner agencies participating. There's video about this right now on AlleghenyJournal.com. The long-awaited damages phase of the Jennifer Simpson versus Town of Iron Gate property flooding case is now being heard in Allegheny County Circuit Court. Today's action included jury selection and a visit to the actual property in question. Opening statements were made by the attorneys for both sides. The extent of the property damage is yet to be decided by the five-person jury. There's video about this right now on the Allegheny Journal's Facebook page. It's been closed since mid-February, but earlier today, the Clifton Forge Family Dollar Dollar Tree Store reopened. A main sewer pipe had to be replaced by the firm, one employee told the journal. And we'll be right back. For your second order, coffee with sugar, honey, and whole milk. Oat milk, please. Oat milk it is. Hear the quiet talking barista with Phonak Adeo Lumity, a hearing aid with smart speech technology. So no matter who is speaking, conversations shine with Lumity. And now for regional obituaries. Ann Richmond, 58 of Warm Springs, died Sunday. Melvin Seller Sr., 92 of Covington, died Monday. Ovi Nicely, 86 of Buena Vista, died Saturday. James Hilton, 59 of Lewisburg, passed away April 17th. Kurt Chittam, 62 of Buena Vista, died Saturday. 
Michael Ayers, 64, of Lexington, died Saturday. Kerry Mitchell, 62, of Monterey, passed away on Monday. And Beverly Wright, 30, formerly of Lewisburg, passed away on Sunday. More information on all obituaries may be found on AlleghenyJournal.com. Let's check out the local weather forecast. On Thursday, it should be partly cloudy with isolated showers, high of 74 and a low of 52. On Friday, mostly cloudy with showers and isolated thunderstorms, high of 60 and a low of 53. And on Saturday, partly cloudy with scattered showers, high of 74 and a low of 49 degrees. And that's the way it is on Wednesday, April 26, 2023. More stories, photos, videos, and interviews are available 24-7, 365 on AlleghenyJournal.com, YouTube, and on our soaring Facebook page. Thanks very much for watching Journal TV.